Hello guys, my name is Anna and I'm from Ukraine and I vlog daily to keep you updated on the real life situation in my country, Ukraine, as this awful war with Russia continues. But we must win this war and for the sake of Ukrainian culture too. I know that you like when I show you more of my country and today I'm proud to introduce you to a small Ukrainian, Western Ukrainian town, Zhovkova, which has more than 55 interesting historic locations in a very small town. In general, it has approximately 13,000 inhabitants and many, many, many beautiful places I want to introduce you to. Uh, it was uh, built according to the traditions of ideal Italian towns. Once it was the residence of the Polish king Jan III Sobeski. Uh, in general, people live here since the 12th century, but the development of the city coincides with the 16th and 17th century when it received the Magdeburg Rite. And by introducing you to Zhovkova, I want to remind you once again that Ukraine was and is a normal part of Europe and that European Union is actually our home. We had a long period of USSR occupation. It was not our choice. It was bad luck. Same as this war with Russia. But there are many things that you will discover when you will come to Ukraine and uh, see its beautiful historical and natural locations. Now I'm standing in the market square, a traditional square for many European towns and the square itself is really big. As you can see, lots of buildings and uh, lots of important buildings. Here are two beautiful Catholic cathedrals and in this one many famous families are buried, including the father of the Polish king Jan Sobeski. And we will come closer to two of these cathedrals and this is a tower sometimes compared to the Pisan Tower and a beautiful city council building. All in one place, by the way, Zhovkova, which is located in the Lviv region, is a very popular town for uh, filming of various Ukrainian series about history. So I'm standing close to the city council or something that was once a city council and when you see this architecture you do recognize lots of European small and big uh, cities which once again proves that Ukraine is a very European country once invaded by orcs but this time we will take them out of our country forever. Of course it's, it needs some reconstruction but in general it looks pretty nice and has lots of potential and it's common for many many Ukrainian and Western Ukrainian towns. Now I am inside the city council building and there is a small Zhovkova museum and also we will be able to go up on the tower and to see Zhovkova from above. I often tell you about the things that I'm afraid of, like flying on a plane, but I'm not afraid of heights. That's why I have decided to climb the city council and I'm really close to the city clock and I will show you Zhovkova from this height. You see, we have nice weather today. And this is how it looks from the tower of the city council. I like watching the roofs. I don't know why, but always when I'm traveling, I like seeing the roofs. And the start of the mountains. Windy, but we have a new flag here of you and we will be you know 
know, in such rich and uh, historically diverse places, it's so difficult to try and manage to put everything into a camera. So this is just a brief uh, round trip or a teaser. And honestly, after we win this war, I invite you to discover more of Ukraine. Now we will go inside of this beautiful Greek Catholic cathedral and I want to show you some beautiful Ukrainian style decorations which are unusual, some of them were made before the First World War. I will remain silent but I will try to show you these icons in Ukrainian style. And this is Ukrainian reality, a funeral in the center of Zokva, of the military person, and you see how many people kneel. I will not film it long, because the ritual services has a light, and the religious service will be held, this is our day yet. Please remember about people, Ukrainian, who sacrificed their lives to stand against Russia, to stand against global evil eternal memory to heroes. This church in Zhovkva is under reconstruction now. It is Saint Trinity church that was first built in 1601 and then after a fire and it's a wooden church it was rebuilt in 1720 and it belongs to UNESCO heritage because of its unique wooden style. And as in many European cities and towns in Ukraine, there were many Jewish people and there are still many and their cultural heritage is um, very important and undividable if there is a word from uh, Ukrainian history. So here is a synagogue behind me and I will show you a little bit of it. It is a busy Saturday morning, so I'm sorry people are all, all around and it is like perhaps uh, the marketplace is somewhere close, but it needs some reconstruction, but it's pretty big. So it dates back uh, to like, I, I see three different dates, but 1687. This is a big synagogue and many replicas were built in different parts of the world. definitely needs reconstruction but it's under preservation and after we win we have so much job and this is just an ordinary street in Zhovkva with old Austrian villas next to the park and next to the castle I think it reminds us of Europe very much why people stop building houses in this style <laughs> why everything looks so similar right now and it was so different this like antique style and you know that i'm a huge fan of ancient rome so this is the way it all looks in job i don't know if you can hear the bells of the church ringing but it all adds to the atmosphere and i'm standing in the yard of the Zhovva castle where the king of Poland Jan Sobieski often uh, was and many other renowned people. Zhovva demonstrates that Ukraine is a part of European cultural heritage. We were part of different empires. We belong to Rich Pospolita Polish Empire, to Austro-Hungarian. There were periods of our happy independence but never have we suffered that much as it was 
with Russians. But after we win this war, I believe we will return back to our European family. I hope you enjoyed this tour as much as I did. Now time to drink some coffee. So thank you for buying me coffees, becoming my patrons. And thank you for your love, interest, attention of my country, Ukraine. Slava Ukraini!